today. I'll read from November, December, 2019, end time. And um, it's not going to be this. Um, here, I'm going to read the editor's note. The editor's note is by Urban Baxter. Middle East update. Trump's deal of the century. If President Trump's Middle East peace plan called the deal of the century is implemented, it will very likely mark the beginning of the final seven years to Armageddon and the second coming of Jesus to the earth. Should this come to pass, it will be the greatest prophetic fulfillment in 2,000 years. Israel's election st stalemate. President Trump was prepared to release his peace plan in January 2019. However, Israel's government had just collapsed, triggering new elections. Israeli's Prime Minister Benton, Benjamin Netanyahu asked Trump to delay the release of his plan until after the election scheduled for April 9, 2019. Trump consented. When the election returns came in, the two major parties ended in a virtual dead heat. After negotiating with the smaller parties, the required coalition of 61 seats in the Neset could not be formed. Consequently, the government was dissolved and new elections were scheduled for September 17. When the votes were counted in September, Netanyahu Likud party had won 32 seats in the Neset and the blue and white party led by Benny Gantz had won 33 seats. Netanyahu and his right wing partners could only amass 55 seats total while Gantz and the left wing could only assemble 54. There were two other complications. Included in the left's 54 votes were the Arab parties called the joint list with 13 votes. However, the Arabs have never been willing to join the government led by the Jews. Gantz could really only put together a coalition of 44 seats in the Neset, not nearly enough for the 61 seats needed to establish a government. The Yisrael Betanyu party, led by Avigdor Lieberman, had won eight seats in the election. However, Lieberman said, he would not join a coalition with the religious factions that were a critical part of Netanyahu's right-wing coalition. If he would have, Netanyahu could have assembled a coalition of 63, which would have enabled him to easily establish a government. Since neither party could assemble the majority needed to establish a government, the only conceivable way to put together a government is for the two major parties to form a nation unity, national unity government. As this edition, at this, as this edition of End Time Magazine goes to press, Israel is still without a government. What will happen? Either the Likud party and the blue and the white party will agree to put together a national coalition, or Israel be will be forced to go to her third election in less than a year. Trump's peace deal. President Trump has promised to reveal his deal of the century just as soon as Israel finally installs a legitimate government. If Trump's peace deal is then accepted by the Israelis and Palestinians, and if the conditions of the deal meet the criteria outlined in the prophecies, the world will enter the final seven years that will culminate with the Battle of Armageddon and the physical return of Jesus Christ to the earth. So that's it. Thanks for watching.